Drive 615, my name is Byron. It's a beautiful morning. We're headed up to the National Corvette Museum for the Michelin Bash. It's gonna be an amazing event. Got the Z06 all cleaned up. I'm taking over the Corvette Museum Instagram, actually. So if you're not already following them, be sure to stay tuned. I'll be posting all day today and all day tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. Let's go ahead and get a cold start on the Z, and then we'll be on our way. I am obsessed with this car, it's crazy. And with it looking clean, I love it even more. So we're leaving Nashville now in the C7. I daily drive this car. We're going up to see the new C8 Z06s, which will be on display at the Corvette Museum. But I mean, you can't get enough of this. Uh... Come on, <laughs> that's that's good. I mean, the mid engine's gonna be sick, but that's, that's sick. All right, guys, we have officially made it to Kentucky. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> We've got a little convoy of Corvettes. We got a C8, a C6, a ZR1. We got a C7. Yeah, man, man. This is like, what is this? A Corvette convention or something, man? <laughs> right now, I'm at the 2022 Michelin NCM Bash at the National Corvette Museum. I've got my Z06 right here, ready to go. And behind me, there are four different C8 Z06s. We've got three on display and a cutaway. So we're gonna go over there, take a look at them. I'll give you a full walk around of each of them. We'll hop inside, take a look at them. Hopefully we'll hear some exhaust, maybe even some revs. Stay tuned to the end. Thanks again, guys. And be sure to check me out on Instagram, Drive615, as well as check out the Corette Museum as well. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and dive in. Starting right off, this is not a Z06. This is actually the 70th anniversary edition. Got a 3LT convertible here. I'll let you guys take a look at this. Pretty cool interior. Look at that. It's all the Alcantara suede. So one of the things that's cool here on this is you've got 70th etched back there into the glass. Oh, I think we might hear it rev. from the 70th to here, but we'll, we'll keep going back through. We won't, won't miss out on everything, but there you go. Now, I was in the seminars. They said that this wing provides a ton of downforce, exponential amount over the non-winged car, so that's pretty cool, and it's in full carbon fiber, and it looks like it's just through here, but this actually goes all the way into the body, so that's pretty cool as well. We've got a 70th anniversary there. It's pretty cool, the badge right there says 70, 1953 to 2023. It's got some unique wheels, and inside those wheels, it's got 1953 to 2023 as well, so good reminder of the heritage and all that Corvette represents over the years. The interior is gorgeous on this one as well. The steering was pretty cool. So let's take a look up here. All right, we're gonna take a look inside this one. This is the one that you just heard revving. So there's a Z06 there on the door sill. Carbon fiber all through here. Look at all the carbon on the wheel. They basically said uh, that people uh, haven't asked them to stop putting carbon, fi carbon fiber on, so they're gonna keep doing so. But this interior is insane. I mean, red down there. I don't think I've ever seen this much red on the inside of a car. Take a look at right there. We got Z06 back on the speaker. Carbon fiber here. There's tons of carbon fiber in through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and let you guys get a POV look of what it looks like. So. All right, 
behind the wheel. Pretty cool. So, I mean, this is kind of used to seeing this, but not used to seeing it with this much carbon fiber. Not used to seeing it with this Z06 badge through here. And just look at all this carbon fiber through here. And that's really cool too. Look at this. It's all through there. It's got carbon fiber on this overhang and you can actually see how it kind of actually overhangs through there. So that's really awesome as well. And this is just nuts, this interior. I mean, this is all red through here. All of this. Even, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this much red in a car. This is just killer. All the way through here, the vent surrounds, red, red, red. So if you, uh, like red this is the spec for you and this is really cool look down through here got the same mode selector again this is a this through here aside from some of the different changes in carbon fiber this is going to be pretty similar to your c8 where your real changes are going to be back there in the engine and then obviously all the exterior and then all the of course driving and riding technologies so get some revs on the z06 here might That's great. I might uh, might be deaf in my right ear, but it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> that was awesome. Killer. I, I, I appreciate it. We're gonna get to see the beast of this uh, new Z06, and there we go. That's killer. So, performance demand center. And it's got the handcraft signature there, of course, made in Bowling Green, Kentucky, right where we are right now. And this is absolutely killer. The flat playing crank, which you guys heard revving like crazy. My dad and I were right here, and it reverberated right off this wall. And I think our uh, our eardrums are <laughs> not too happy, but I know you guys are happy to hear this thing rev. So there you go. Nice look at it. It's interesting how. This uh, kind of increases up through there, and it's nice too because the actual the black comes through there and kind of outlines this, so to speak. So pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and take a look down here at the wheels, the Brembo carbon ceramic, 345s in the rear. So look at how. Uh, Fat those are. Yeah. Talking YouTube? That's what I'm doing, man. Legal, man. Legal? I think so. You wanna, you wanna give a shout out to someone? Hello, oh, what? Shout new Corvette Z06. Yeah, that's right. You heard it here first from Dairy. Dairy. There you go. Shout out. <laughs> so there's the uh, exhaust tip. So look at that. It's pretty interesting. Now look, you, you got quad exhaust. In the center, right, Z06. But on the outer, you've got those dots through there, and then the center doesn't have it as well. The outer have it. So it's kind of cool how the how this back mesh kind of like mimics like almost like teeth, and these are like the gums kind of you know coming down through there. So that's pretty cool to see. All right, so one down. We got a few more to go. 70th edition here, so we kind of briefly looked at that one. I'll show you that one again. This is going to be good contrast to see what the C8 engine looks like versus the Z06. You see how much lower this sits. That other one, actually, so that had the exact same, you know, back where I said it was outlined, but that engine was really, you know, ramping up almost. So pretty cool to see that. Let's go take a look at this one. So far, the one that's up there is my favorite spec, the uh, silver over red. Just think that looks crisp, but out here in the sunlight, you can get a nice view of some of the angles. Can't confirm, but I believe this was the one that I spotted at the CMA Fest. And that's so cool how, how menacing and mean it looks like it's just a tiger ready to pounce sitting down here in the grass. 
What are your thoughts on the Z06, sir? Oh, I can't wait to get mine. Can't wait to get it. That's a one fine automobile. <laughs> I can't wait to drive that flat plane crank motor down, there you the, go, man. down the racetrack. Me too, me too. What you're doing. Absolutely. All right, take a look at this. And those are behind the There's your different color caliper. I'm not doing the best right now with my specs and colors. I'm kind of a little uh, discombobulated, but nevertheless, we're still giving you some footage. Just ignore uh, how silly I may sound. It's been a, been a long day, so cool. Obviously, the wheels are forged. They've got that indication there, which is nice. Or that marking there. Let's take a look at the rear. I love how they do the the plates and the body color paint pretty cool as well all right let's go take a look at the white one with the z07 package and then we'll go take a look at the cutaway to end out that's the thing i had a guy so this is pretty killer take a look at the interior on this one that's pretty pretty cool it's like kind of understated with the black but then you got the little bit of pop of color and the seat belts too so that's awesome now this one's got the carbon fiber wheels so what we'll do is we'll come around on the side with the sun. We'll take a nice look at these. Well, and so then he came back later and he That's awesome. That was the craziest thing about it. Take a look at that. I was just really just see down through here. Some of the aero inventing. There you go as well. Gorgeous. Can I sit inside it? Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, so there you go. Quite the contrast from that red one we were looking at earlier. Again, tons of carbon fiber. You see a nice bit of the carbon fiber here with that door open and the Z06, Z06 badging there. And uh, there you go, take a look at that. I love, oh, I didn't notice that on the first one earlier. Look, carbon fiber on the paddle shifters. Yeah, it's a level two interior. Level two interior, okay, yeah, excellent. Excellent, yeah, that's great. And, uh, there you go, tons of carbon fiber through there again. So level two is what you said, and I do like the contrasting seatbelt color. I feel like if I got a red one, or maybe not all red, but at least get red seatbelts, this is pretty cool. Man, I am uh, super thankful for the opportunity to be out here, check out these cars. Let's go take a look at the cutaway here. Got another C8 over there. It's the biggest Carmento I've heard. All right, so here we go. Cool to see what's underneath the hood, so to speak. Except in this case, it wouldn't be the hood. It's the uh, mid-engine there. So there you go. So if we look at it from this angle, you can see that that's actually not ramping up as much as I thought it was. It's more so that cover. It's still sitting fairly fairly deep down in there so that's something interesting that this cover kind of uh, ramps it up so to speak but it actually doesn't start until uh, a little ways down you, pardon me? Uh, drive 6.5? Yeah, thanks. Anything you want to tell me about this? No. It's half off. Half off? Hey, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been waiting all day to say that one. All right, here you go. This is a good uh, view. These 345s in the rear. Pretty fat. It's nice to see it with the uh, fender off. You get really good uh, appreciation for how fat that really is. Take a look down through here. Let me ask someone this if someone wants to answer. Outer two, what's the uh, perforation here versus the inner two? Is that for sound reverberation or? But they only did it on the outer two versus the inner two? Right. Just for, for noise purposes? The valves. Valves? Okay. Got it. Makes sense. So there you go. So I'm going to say in the outer two have the perforations and they think it's due to the you know valve and, and sound purposes when it's flowing through. This is pretty cool seeing it back here and it's apart, you know. And it's cool too to see 
inside the uh, the wing. Pretty sweet, guys. So there's a good look. We'll come down through here, take a look up front. But you know, really, the business of most cars is up here. And this is more so just kind of cooling and got a little bit of storage there in the front, right? And then some of the uh, different you know, suspension components down through there. But where your typical engine is, this is now, you know, eighth generation. Moved back, better speed, better performance, better power with the mid-engine design. So there you go, guys. That is the 2023 Z06. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Check me out on Instagram, at Drive615, and also check out the Corvette Museum. I posted on their Instagram uh, today, and I'll be posting there tomorrow as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next video.